So was there anything happening around this time that was uh, that stands out to you as something that was notable? Mm. You did a lot of RV. You were on the RVs. Well, from what I understand bit. is I feel like a lot of these people, like at least like, like some of these live streamers like Captain, I don't want to give any too much names, you know, but like some of these people ha just have like, a very easy like hang out at the beach like i would say you know some of these girls mm. you know like they get to hang out at the beach and have like this nice like fun thing but like i'm really into like making money and stuff so like my goals are set like elsewhere like my goals are to make money and okay. like i wish i wish that i could be like that i wish that i wish i could just sit at the beach and like be like, oh, like I have no worries in the world, but clearly like my goals are like set way higher than these kinds of people. Like, okay, so yeah. these que these questions I'm about to give you, you can answer them if you want. To. I mean, I think it's people wonder about this kind of stuff. So, but if you don't want to, if you don't want to answer it, you know, I'll edit it out, whatever. So, at you give birth to your third child, you know, you and Attila's child. I think I was watching that stream. I think you went outside to smoke a cigarette. No, I wasn't smoking. I needed food in the hotel. The hotel, the hospital wasn't giving me food, so I was starving, and I needed to go eat. And as nice as convenient, there was uh, food on the property, so I was eating food on the property, and then they were mm -hmm. going to let me back in. Was it one hundred percent the fact that you left, or were there viewers that were calling in the hospital or something like that? No, like it's just like it's, they said. What they, from what I understand, they said it was a security breach, and the fact that I was still admitted to the hospital, but I actually was able to walk outside, like was just like, you know. Right. I just walked out of the freaking hospital. I I know, I. I just needed food that bad. Like I really was, and I was pretty much begging them for water, like constantly being like, can I have some more water? And like hours would pass, like nothing, like it was bullshit. I wish Attila could have helped me more. Cause I know like my mom has came to the hospital and stuff with me before and she's been there. And like my mom, even in Texas, she was like giving me water and stuff and making sure that I had food in the hospital. Just, Okay, so at that point they wouldn't they wouldn't let you back in, and I was able to come back in. The, I was able to come back in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I, I had to go back upstairs and get discharged. So, do you do you currently have custody of your child with Attila? Um, well, I never lost custody, so. Oh, okay. So you guys, you know, you should raise it. I don't even have to bring this up at all if you don't want me to. I, you know, I can you cut this. Talk about my kid. Yeah. I think people like wonder about, you know, what happened. All right. Well, Jewel, mm -hmm. I want to thank you for uh, spending this time with me. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And um, is there anything you would like to uh, close with? Do you have any plans for the future? Um, I don't know. Hopefully I make more content and stuff. Hopefully I have, you know, my VODs for sale and everything. All right, Julie, take it easy. Thanks a lot. I have, I appreciate um, I'm sorry. I have my um, OnlyFans that I'm trying to work on. That's probably the platform of my choice right now. Okay, great. And I'm going to ask you to send me any links that you have <laughs> so I can include them in the uh, video description. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to uh, shut this off now. Have a good uh, evening and. God bless you.